This is not an MJ type ago, but this is. And this is a clone, and it's a pretty good one. Stay tuned. <laughs> So guys, in today's video we've got a clone of this one. So this is the MJX Hypergo and these cars are just awesome. These are fast, durable and they're pretty affordable. But now I found a clone on the internet. But is this one as good as that one? Well, let's find out. So let me get everything out of the box so I can show you what's inside there. Inside the box you'll find the car, the transmitter, some instructions, a USB charger, some tools, a lithium ion battery, some different charts, we've got some pretensioners and some spare body clips. So this car will come standard with friction shocks and that's a big downside. But it will come with some oil shock which is a good thing. But I totally don't understand why you have to fill them yourself and you have to install them yourself. And I totally don't get it why the factory doesn't yeah, mount these instead of the standard shocks you know. But it is what it is. So let's have a close look at the transmitter now. This is the transmitter and it runs on three AA's which you need to supply of your own. So the build quality is very nice and I really like those transmitters. So we've got a phone wheel right over here and it's capable of one in steering and that's always a good thing. So on top of here we've got the on-off switch, the steering reverse, the steering trim and the dual rate right over there. And this is your speed selector. So all the way to the left is the high speed, the middle setting is medium and all the way to the right is the low speed. And channel number 3 right over there is from controlling the lights. So these transmitters are actually pretty good and I like those. So let's have a closer look at that car now. And here is the car guys, what do you think of it? Well body wise I really like this car you know, just look at it, this car really looks tough. But there's one thing what I don't like and that's like the cloning part. So this is the original MJX Hypergo and as you can see they really tried to copy this one and I'm not a big fan of the copying thing. But it is what it is. So if you don't have got a lot of money to buy the original one, so maybe this could be a good alternative because this one is more cheap than that one. So let's have a closer look at all the details. In the front of the car you will find a plastic front bumper and this actually feels very sturdy. So above there you will find the front grille with some LEDs mounted inside there. We've got some LEDs on top of here and we've got an LED bar sitting right over there. And just look inside the car, we've got some driver figures and I really like that. So the body itself is all made of a roll cage which is very sturdy and I really like that. So here you can see the, uh, the drive line. So we've got some metal suspension parts right over there, we've got some metal CVDs and we've got some metal cups. So this car has got metal gears inside there and ball bearings throughout and that's always a good thing. So the arms are made from a very flexible material and that's always nice. So if you're hitting a curve or something you know then normally the, uh, the flexible plastic will flex a little bit instead of snapping off so therefore I like the flexible arms. So these shocks are just the standard friction shocks and these are just a shame that they have installed these you know because you have to fill the oil shock yourself and then you have to install them yourself but you know you will get oil shocks in the kit and that's always a good thing. So at the rear of the car we've got a similar setup right over there so these are the same shocks we've got some metal drive shaft uh, right over there and we've got some metal suspension parts right over there and we've got a proper spare tire which is always a good thing so let me get the body off and show you what's under there and here you can see that this is not an MGX Hypergo, but still this setup is actually pretty good. I've reviewed some cars in the past which have a similar setup and I really like those. So here you will find your 3 wire servo with a servo saver already mounted on there. And this is your, uh, your 35 amp 2 in 1 receiver ESC combination and we've got a little light port sitting right over there. So this is your brushless motor and this is a 4000 kV motor and I think it's a 2847 size and this is actually a pretty decent size. So like I mentioned we've got ball bearings inside this car and we've got metal gears just listen to this do you hear that? That actually sounds pretty good. So right over there you will find the metal drive shaft going to the front and the back. And yeah that's all to say about it. So let me throw in some batteries and show you when it's on.
The car's powered on, and this is the steering servo. So we've got plenty of speed, and we do have got some power as well. So normally with cheaper cars like this, you know, they don't have got any power at all. So this one is actually pretty good, and I really like that. So this is throttle-wise at the low, and then I go to medium, and then I go to high. So this is low speed. Medium. And now let's put it into the high speed. Whoa, it's making a lot of sound, do you hear that? Wow, that's pretty noisy, but just look at the wheel speed. The wheel speed looks pretty decent. Yeah, that looks pretty promising. So let me throw on the body and show you the LEDs. Here you can see the LEDs in the front, and here you will find the LED bar in the rear. So this is solid on, then we've got slowly flashing, rapidly flashing, and then they are off again. So for now I'm going to install the oil shocks, and then we are going to speed run it outside. Stay tuned. So guys, we're outside at the tarmac road and I installed the oil shocks as you can see. So now it's time to see how fast this car is. So I mounted the GPS on top of here, so let's see how fast this car is. Here we go. So guys, I gave it a couple of runs and we hit the 54 kilometers an hour. So that's a pretty decent speed for a car of around 100 bucks. So now it's time to take it off road and see what happens there. So guys, I've been driving this car around for a couple of minutes now, and I must say I'm pretty impressed by this one. So I've reviewed a car, yeah, similar cars like this before, but this is the first one which has oil shocks, and that really makes this car a pretty good car. So I paid around a hundred bucks, I think it was, I will put the link down below so you can check it out for yourself. But for a hundred bucks, including the oil shocks, yeah, it's a pretty decent car. So I tumbled it around like a million of times already, and it's still in one piece. We hit the decent top speed, yeah. Here it goes again, yeah, I really like this car, they have improved it much by adding oil shocks, you know, because the standard friction shocks just doesn't do it for a car of this performance, but now it's all fine and I really like it so far. So for now I will just give you some driving footage and then I will come back to you with my final thoughts of this car. So until now there's only one thing what really annoys me about this car and that's the cogging. So when you go into the high grass, so let's do it here for example, and when I use the full throttle, nothing happens. You see that? And I really hate that. So that's due to the gearing of the motor, it's a bit too high geared, so here it is, so a little bit of resistance and nothing happens. So that's a big downside of this car, but overall I really like this car. So guys, that was the driving with this car, and what do I think of it? Well, for the money, I think that this is a pretty good purchase. One thing what I really don't like is that I have tried to copy this one. So this is the MGX Hypergo, and as you can see, there are a lot of similarities, and the fact that they have tried to copy this one, I don't like that. But if you're looking for a more cheaper car than the MGX Hypergo, I think that this is a pretty good yeah, alternative if you want to have the same body style, and especially with the chassis in this platform. So on the market, you know, you've got a lot of cars that has uh, got exactly 
exactly the same electronics. Uh, one thing which is different from them is the suspension. So all of the other models will come with standard friction shocks and when driving over the field, you know, that's the, yeah, it bounces around and I hate that. But this model actually comes with oil shocks, which you need to fill yourself and you have to mount them yourself. But still, you will get oil shocks and that is way better than the other models. So therefore, I like this car. So one thing what I really don't like about this car is the cogging. So they have geared this one up to hit a top speed, you know, so we hit a 54 kilometers an hour, which is a pretty decent speed. But therefore, when driving through the garage, you know, it cocks and I don't like that. But overall, this package, you know, we've got metal gears, ball bearings inside there, a brushless setup, oil suspension now, you know, this thing is very solid and I really like that. Alright guys, that was it for today. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to my channel. If you've got any questions or suggestions, leave a comment below. And I will see you in the next video. Bye bye.